Happy New Year everybody and of course everyone now is planning what they're going to do in 2015 whether it's a New Year's resolution or uh, what they're going to watch in the year or whatever like that. Uh, so this video is my 2015 channel plans and year in review. Not 2014 films that I watched in review but just in general as a movie watcher my experience with films because I think it's been a very good year for me. I think it's been one of the most enlightening for me all these different films from different cultures, different countries. It's all been fantastic to watch and of course first of all I want to talk about what I have in line for my channel before I go away in September or whatever and <clears throat> there's a lot I'd like to do on my channel special videos and the first series is actor biographies my first one was Vincent Price which a lot of people liked and I was glad they did it wasn't very long but it took me a lot of time to do because I'm getting all the research and I just wanted to you know I wanted to make it concise and so three other actor biographies that I have lined up already is going to be for Al Pacino, Robert De Niro and Johnny Depp and I've had other ideas, some people have suggested other actors and actresses and I will, I will do others definitely uh, especially older actors and actresses or ones that people may have forgotten or they have died they, they've been gone for a long time, I mean like actors from the 50s and stuff like that which would be good to do and then of course director biographies which I really look forward to doing because I know so much about these directors already and I think it would be very easy to uh, construct a 15-20 minute video about their careers. Uh, so the first choice is obviously Charlie Chaplin who I was actually writing a, a, a director actor life biography at one point a couple of years ago and it became really long and I didn't. I decided not to put it up or publish it or anything or uh, post it I mean and it was quite long. Um, I know I like Charlie Chaplin because I've read his autobiography and I've read so much about him and watched several documentaries. And then we'll have Martin Scorsese, who isn't dead yet, so his career is ongoing, but I'd like to do it from then to now. And I, I hope he doesn't die soon because he's one of the best filmmakers we have right now. And then, of course, Stanley Kubrick, the legend he is. He deserves a uh, documentary to be done on his life. He has a very strange life compared to the other filmmakers. He's very reclusive, very introversial. He's quite an introvert. So that's, that's two series that I intend to continue and of course I'll be doing my collection updates and I think the midweek chats kind of died, I'm not sure if people still really do those now and the same goes with the top five Mondays, Fridays, whatever day it is. I'm still going to do some top lists, you know I can do top actresses, top actors, favourite performances, favourite thrillers, th favourite favorite comedies might be a really good one because I have a list of my 40 favourite comedies. Um, and a lot of them are like 70s, 80s, 90s comedies. I don't really like any of the new comedies, and I think I speak for a lot of people, they've went downhill. So, that's those ones. And then I'm I need to do an entire collection video looking at everything in my room, uh, in terms of movies and TV box sets, DVDs, Blu-rays. Um, that would take a while, so I don't know when I'll get around to doing that video. I think it would, it would, I, I want to try and keep it under 20 minutes because no one really wants to watch an hour long video of someone talking about their movies, or maybe they do, but I don't know. I might make a two part video, my collection part one and two. Um, I have quite a lot, I must have about, in total, combined 400, 500 Blu-rays and DVDs, but I really don't know, I would have to count, and even that alone takes a good half an hour, couldn't be bothered. So that's that one, and then I want to branch out with my channel and sort of talk about other things that I like in my life, you know, whether it's uh, video games or just life in general, but I it, it, I don't want it just to be striking movies, so it, it will be mostly movies, because it's my movie channel, but I also want to talk about a couple of other things that interest me. Um, I said in my other video that I play piano and I was thinking of doing some sort of film, TV show, medley, collage, uh, mashup sort of thing. I've been working on it for quite some time, combining like, the themes of Edward Scissorhands, uh, Frozen, uh, the Dexter Blood theme. I even know you've got a friend of me, the opening of that. Uh, so I'll, I'll make some way to mash them all up. I also know the Truman Show, uh, Sleep, Truman Sleeps by Philip Glass, very nice piano piece. But I may, I'm still undecided about doing piano music because I don't think I'm actually that good. But you know, I think people might like to see piano pieces being done. And. Another one I want to do, I've been talking about this for months now, doing retro video game reviews because I have quite a big collection. I used to be quite a fan of retro video games. I have an N64, an NES, SNES, Sega Mega Drive, all those. And I was thinking of doing some video game reviews, you know, 
to make it a bit different, you know, I, I could review the Wii U you know, or something new or do screaming or something, not into the whole screaming gameplay video thing. But I think retro game video reviews, I think, would be quite nostalgic for people much older than myself. Myself, because I grew up whenever PlayStation 1 was out and PS2 came out when I was six. So, um, but I, I did grow up, grow up with the NES because my father, my dad worked in Argus and that's how we got all these different gaming consoles like the Game Boy and stuff, quite cheap. So I had all that stuff and my dad used to be quite a fan of the NES. And so yeah, he kind of he sort of gave that to me and I played it and enjoyed it. But I'm getting off topic here. I would really like to do a review of, you know, Super Mario Bros. 1 to 3 on the NES, an overview of the N64 console because I own about 26 or 28 games for the N64. Lots of them are in their boxes and stuff, so maybe even a collection video showing off my video game collection because I have this really cool Pikachu N64. When you turn it on, it's kick slide up, I think it's amazing. Um, so yeah, what do you think of that? Would you like to see something like that? And another couple of video projects that I have lined up are films that I want to make. Uh, the first one is the skateboarding documentary, which I mentioned uh, a couple of videos ago, and thinking of the titles for it, such as Board. Board seems to be one that I have three or four people saying is a good working title. Um, I think Board, it's, I just don't want it to be associated with the word Board. You know, I can imagine a review for it already. Board was certainly something that bored me. You know, I can imagine something that got being written. <laughs> but that is something I really want to make. Uh, I think it'll be the summer before I can really probably make it because the weather in Northern Ireland is very poor, especially around winter. I mean, it's so dull. As you can see, it's quite dark now. I have the window open and the light on, and it's still quite dark. But I was thinking of making it in January, but you know, I probably won't get around to it because just timing and weather uh, is everything. But I, th I think I will leave it until the summer to fully go head on at it because it'll give me more focus. And another film that I'm working on right now is uh, with a friend who wrote it and it's about internet hacking and I think that's something a lot of people um, are aware of at the moment and have been for the past five to ten years with the rise of internet hackers and activists, hacktivists, you know, all these different groups like Anonymous and all that and I think, I think that it's quite a, quite a, it's not going to be too serious, it's going to be a short film about internet hacking of a a fictional social media website, uh, but that's that's all I'm going to say about that for now. That may be finished very quickly. That could be finished by the end of this month, hopefully, if we get the casting together and all that. And another one I was thinking of doing was a bit like my biography videos, um, just looking at things. A silent film, uh, a silent cinema documentary, just looking at the silent era and the influence it's had on filmmakers today, and just how it's you know. It, that was the start of cinema because I'm very interested, uh, as someone that loves cinema, I'm always interested in the early days of cinema and how it began to become this form of entertainment and then even further so as a communicative tool, all that sort of thing. So I think maybe a 30 minute documentary explaining and looking at science cinema briefly, uh, I say briefly because a half an hour would not do justice to it, would be nice to do. So that's my 2015 movie plans everyone. And now to move on to my year as a movie watcher. So on Letterboxd, I've registered every single film that I watched in the year. Letterboxd, if you don't know already, is a little movie review website where you can do lists, post reviews and add people and leave comments and stuff. Uh, so I registered every single film and in total there was 333 films watched. Uh, I tried to calculate it, roughly 285 of them were new films. So as you can see, I'm not a big fan of rewatching films unless I really want to because even if it's a brilliant film, it's usually quite fresh in my head and I like the memory. I, I never want to spoil you can sometimes you can have too much of a good thing and I never want to spoil it. I never want to watch a film so much that I don't really want to watch it again. So it's usually six months to a year before I rewatch something. So yes, I worked out the time, 575.9 hours is what it tells me. So I worked that out in days and 24 days of 2014 was spent watching movies, which is quite a lot considering that doesn't include television, uh, TV series that I watched. If that was the case, it would probably double. So as you can see, I like movies. Of course. Uh, I also updated my top 150 and it's changed so much because it's been such a great year in film. I've seen more films from Akira Kurosawa, who's now at least in the top five filmmakers for me, top five film directors. And then I watched most of the Studio Ghibli films. I think there's only four or so that I haven't seen. 
And I must have liked about 15 new ones. Um, in 2014, the only ones I had really seen are Ocean Waves and Only Yesterday. And they're like TV ones, so yeah. Studio Ghibli films, absolutely love Studio Ghibli now. Uh, not a single bad film. Uh, I watched more foreign films and new favourites, such as, I'll just go through a list here, of ones that are in my top 150 now, such as Red Beard, Raging Bull, Her, The Hidden Fortress, The Deer Hunter, The Sting, Woman in the Moon, Woman in the Moon, I was about to say, Woman in the Moon, Wings, Ginger Snaps, Peeping Tom, and Marathon Man, lots of there from the 70s also. Um, they've all entered my favourites, and it's been just a fantastic year for film, rewatching some of my favourites, re uh, watching more classics. And yeah, just been overall a very enjoyable experience. And a lot of people are going to be doing their 2015 goals. Last year and the year before that I did something, you know, sort of saying, uh, going to watch this amount of films or whatever. And I don't I don't know how much I'll end up watching. I think last year I said I'd watch 200 new films and look, I watched nearly 300 new films. I don't know. I, I don't really want to set a target. I guess I want to try and complete a filmography of one director, uh, of one actor as well and just watch more movies and make some films, meet new people. I'd like to do this, you know, just naturally. And I'd like to branch out the channel, obviously. Um, I, I gained a lot of subscribers also. Um, now I have to, whenever I first started doing my movie reviews and stuff on my channel, I only had about 100, and, I think it was 115 uh, total subscribers, and now I've got 266, and it doesn't sound like much. It really doesn't compare to other people, but uh, a lot of people there do engage. I mean, I have a video that has 20 views and there's 10 to 12 comments on it, and that to me, that's that's what I care about. I like having conversations with people, and I, I prefer these people who have sort of dedicated fan bases. You know, people like Boogie 2988. You know, regular people that come on and comment and keep watching videos and. The ratio usually is for subscribers, you know, 1 in 10 will comment, and sometimes it can be lower than that, and yeah, I, th I just like engaging with my audience, even if it's not that many views, views don't matter to me, people do, and I've enjoyed having conversations with people. So, yeah, that's it really, and that's all I can say, um, I might as well say thank you everyone for watching my videos, and uh, subscribing, and commenting, and giving a thumbs up, and sharing especially, thanks a lot. Um, I have to give some shout outs to people like Luke Ryan at Razor Wire Reviews, uh, Ryan Chattaway, uh, Lukey, who she, she does some puppet work, um, who else, uh, Ian uh, over at Forkerball, um, a lot of others, I'm sorry if I didn't mention, oh yes, uh, London City Girl, she's, she's got a great channel as well, so I'll put all these, I'll put a link to these all those, seriously check them all out, London City Girl, uh, she's a great host, and she does a lot of great videos also. Uh, they all do, you know, they should definitely check them out, please. Um, yeah, I'm happy with the new friends I've made, and I keep rambling, and I can't help it. So I'm just going to stop now before I keep talking. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll keep watching your videos. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.